there's been uncertainty for the last two years at this football club. Facing me, she's going to be shuffle, shuffle, cross steps of strike. You have to adapt, you have to keep moving forward, and um, I'm delighted where we are now from where we began. One, two, three, one, three. All credit to the owner, David Klaus, for one, saving the club, and two, giving me the confidence and trust to, to go and get some really, really good players in the building. After administration and relegation comes the rehabilitation. This once great football club is finding its feet again. Under new owner David Klaus and interim manager Liam Rossinia, a summer rebuilding programme has sown the seeds of recovery for Derby County. It was a big shock obviously when Wayne left the club to all the staff, myself included. We have five first team players at the start of pre-season and we were already two weeks behind everybody else. So yeah, it was a big job on, but what I would say is a lot of people, myself, the recruitment team, coach and staff, we were all planning in case we got the green light to sign players. It's just great for Philomena and the canteen to see new players walk in. It gives everybody a lift. So for me, it's really important that everybody's a part of it, you know, and, and everybody cares about the future of this football club and, and the results we get on a Saturday and a Tuesday. What would your playing philosophy be then? The playing philosophy is to have the ball, have the ball and play with the ball and attack. And, and dominate possession because when I was a kid all I wanted to do was play football and playing football meant having the ball so I want the players to enjoy the way that we play and I think if you enjoy what you do you're successful and if you, you have to work hard and you have to press with intensity and all of those things but I want every single player that comes in to actually enjoy the way that we play and I want to enjoy watching my team play as well I want the fans to come and enjoy watching us play so it's playing with wingers it's playing having the ball playing out from the back and I, I believe that way in the long term gets you results. Quite a lot of senior players and being a young coach yourself is there a temptation to get them on someone still play a bit? There is, but they don't want to do anything to do with me anymore, that's for sure. Well, it's funny because I play with James Chester, I play with Curtis Davis, but there's a you can be respected in different ways. It doesn't matter how old you are. If people believe in the way that you work and believe in you as a person, that's the most important thing. And fortunately, so far, the players have been brilliant for me and I'll hopefully that continues. And do you think going forward as well, they can manage the dressing room? In, 100%. In that that's what I want. I don't want to have to, to deal with that kind of thing. I've got players, there's probably 15 players in there that I trust completely and it's about trust. And, and so they run the dressing room, they set their own values and expectations and I'm happy with that and that's the way I want it to be. We haven't spent a lot of money. That's really, really important that I make that point. The size of the crowd or the history of the football club, it goes out the window. It's 11 men against 11 men, and that's what matters. So every single game, we need to understand that, respect the opponent that we're playing against, understand their strengths and weaknesses. And if we do that, we put ourselves in with a really, really good chance of doing something successful this year. And what would your message be to the fans? Their strength and in adversity and the atmosphere they created last year, I'll never forget for the rest of my life. So you want to repay that. You know, now I'm in a privileged position in the job I'm doing now to give us hopefully the best opportunity of doing that and I, I want to see smiling faces, I want to hear loud crowds, I want the attendances to stay high. Last season will always be remembered and this year could always be remembered for all the right reasons. You know, We're in a position where I think this club in the next hundred years will always remember this moment. So for me to be manager right now and these players to represent this shirt right now will mean a lot and I, I love the pressure. I'm absolutely thriving in it and I think the players are too and then hopefully that will continue.